What's up guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Justin Davis and today I'm gonna to bring you the top three picks for 2019 best drones. I've been flying drones for over five years on my channel and I have a ton of knowledge about each different drone. I've taken it all over the state of Oregon. I've flown each one of these in different mountain ranges and pretty harsh conditions for these drones. So they've all been thoroughly tested. This is not a super polished video where I'm gonna take out a DJI Mavic 2 out, something like the Zoom or the Hasselblad version. Those are $1,800. This video is for the guy or girl looking for a drone that is on a budget, but you can still bring home some amazing 4K footage. So let's go ahead and get started with the first of these three drones, my top picks for 2019. My top choices are the GEP RC Crocodile 7 with GPS, the Xiaomi Femi X8, and the DJI Mavic Air. If you want cinema style video with an FPV twist, get the Crocodile 7 with GPS. It's around $279 and you can pair it up with the Tyrannus QX7 for about $99. It's also sporting a GoPro Hero 7 mount up front so you can get that ultra cinematic 4K video with hyper smooth on board. The Croc 7 also has GLONASS GPS on the back with return to home which is super nice and you can expect 15 to 20 minute flight times out of a 4S 5000 milliamp pack. Plenty of flight time and you can switch out multiple batteries. And the Crocodile 7 really is for that person that wants to extend their flight time from a typical race quad and still have that unique perspective of the race quad style filming. A lot of Hollywood producers right now want a little something extra in their television commercials and for their films, a little different angle or a different twist on their video rather than just the typical drone shot. The straight ahead shot is getting a little bit old and a lot of people want something different now. This drone does not have active track so when you're doing your high speed tracking like this it's going to be manual flying in stability mode or in the acro mode which will allow you to do flips and rolls. So you do get a unique different perspective out of this quad and that's what a lot of people want just a little bit of something extra bringing a different twist to cinematic video so really the sky's the limit with the GEP RC Crocodile 7 and you really don't have to worry too much because if you do fail safe out in the mountain you go behind something it will go into return to home and come back to the area where you're standing and you can retake control but the biggest benefit of this one is a different twist on the video and the croc 7 is the most durable out of the bunch in this video you can replace the arms and it has no moving camera gimbal parts so you don't have to worry about breaking your gimbal and sending it in for repairs and that's why the croc 7 is one of our top picks for 2019. And if portable and easy to fly is what you're looking for, the DJI Mavic Air is the top pick here at $679 for the basic combo. It's going to get you out there about 2.48 miles. The basic combo, the Mavic Air, is around $1,200 cheaper than the Mavic 2, and it's going to get you a 15-minute flight time, and you're still going to get a beautiful, beautiful 4K video. You're going to come home with some of the most amazing shots you've ever seen. The DJI Mavic Air is about $300 more expensive than the DJI Spark, but if you're looking for 4K in that smaller size format factor, this is the one to get. And one of the biggest reasons that we did pick this drone was its simplicity. It has the DJI 4 Go app on here and it does have tons of flight modes including follow me, orbit mode, waypoints, and tons of updatable modes that DJI keeps coming out with on a regular basis. So you can expect updates on this one. It also has no fly zones, but the biggest benefit of the Mavic Air for me is the fact that I can just pack this one in a small bag and not have to worry about a lot of extra accessories to take on a trip to film video wherever I go. An honorable mention in this video is the DJI Spark. It's 1080p at $329 for the basic and $499 for the Fly More combo with three batteries. It'll get you a 10 to 12 minute flight time, but it does get actually pretty impressive follow me video and 1080p actually looks pretty decent on here. Go back and look at the Mavic Air footage. And the Spark is comparable. If you have a computer that can't render it, go for the 1080p Spark. My number one pick is the Femi X8 4K Edition. It's $1,400 cheaper than the Mavic 2, and it has 4K video at $499 or 1080p at $299. I've been flying this most of the year and enjoying it and now I look back on the website and there's 708 five star reviews so that explains a lot about my experience and other pilots. You get about a three mile extended range and the longest flight time in this video, 28 to 30 minute flight time on the battery. And the Femi really does have quite a crowd following. It is a big favorite now since it's been out for most of the year. People have been buying this up in droves. They have been selling out. The first batch of them were sold out in the beginning. 
But this is the video that the Femi can bring home. This is 4K down sampled to YouTube at 1080p. So it's not gonna look as good as what you can even bring home. So if you have a computer that can render and edit 4K, you're good to go. But I think the video and the quality and the saturation looks outstanding for the Femi XASE. Look in close at the details here. And I wanna show you the side-by-side -side comparison of both the Femi XASE and the Mavic Pro side-by-side. -side. It's a little more browns in the Mavic Pro video, but what's really surprising is that I showed this in a previous review. The XASE has a lot of the same specs, even on the lens, the field of view, the ISO range is exactly the same. The shutter rate and the image size is both 4,000 by 3,000 pixels, as well as the 4K mode. You do get a cinema mode that's a little bit bigger than the X8, but I think most people really don't notice the difference. And I tend to actually like the X8 SE video just a little bit better than I do the DJI Mavic Pro. You can see another side-by-side -side comparison here. We have just a little more browns in the Mavic Pro on the stock settings. And both of these cameras are both running stock settings on these scenes that you see here. The same scene on the top for the XA SE and on the bottom for the Mavic Pro. The water looks a little bit brown there again. There's some strange browns happening on the Mavic Pro there. And the XA SE controller, the 3900 milliamp internal battery barely ever has to be charged and the remote extends out to accept anything like an iPad Air. We're just going to look at both of these batteries side by side. They're very similar in size, but this one actually gets a little bit longer flight time at 28 minutes real world testing and you can charge a battery up at 3 amp in around an hour and a half. And you can see both of those props with the Mavic Pro on the right and the Femi X8 on the left. And you look and they're both very similar in the design and take on and off. The Mavic Pro stands a little bit taller but in the back you have a little more clearance with the Femi X8. You can see the DJI has a lower leg setup. I want to get back to the noise level comparing the X8 to the Mavic Pro because that's a concern for some of you guys. And the X8 is quieter than the Mavic Pro with the stock props on there. Let me throw up the wavelengths in my timeline editor. Both are recorded at exactly the same sound level on my GoPro Hero Black, so the Femi is a bit quieter. And you see why people love the X8 SE so much. In this video, you can see the comparison between the DJI Mavic Pro and this one. The video looks great, the price is great, the performance is awesome, and battery life is better than the original Mavic Pro, and you get 4K video all for around $500. So it's a win-win for the consumer and for the company that's selling the XA SE. You will need a U3 micro SD card to fly this. And that's why the Femi XA is our favorite and our top pick for 2019. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for our 2019 best pick. This is the best pick for 2019 for under $500. At $499 right now, this is going to bring you home excellent 4K video. My honorable mention out there is the DJI Spark if you want to get that one. To just get your feet wet, you don't care about 4K, or you don't have the computer to be able to edit and render 4K video up to YouTube, I would go for the DJI Spark. That's probably the better choice around the $300 price point. If you're somebody that's a professional that wants better video than just that straight ahead shot like you always see with the DJI drones and the Femi, get something like the GEP RC Crocodile. That's gonna get you a really nice 4K GoPro super hyper smooth stable video and it's going to give you a different twist on it and also check out those radios that i recommended for that setup and lastly comes in the dji mavic air that one is great if you're going to do it in a close proximity type of setting but our top pick for the money and for the video is definitely the femi x8 you guys can check that one out at the link below i appreciate you guys watching i'm going to go enjoy the view out here it's absolutely beautiful today in the columbia river gorge i'm justin davis i'll see you on the next one take care guys